Hello, so I'm here uh, ready for the monthly mark making in August. Would you believe the end of August now? And um, I've chosen a really nice uh, sunny morning, but it's a bit hazy. So you might not be able to see uh, the purple moors, the heather moors as much as uh, as I might have liked, but there we are. So um, in the background, uh, we have uh, the wonderful moors and hopefully you can see the purple against the green. And I'll do a little bit of a, I'll stand here and just do a little bit of a rotate round so you can see. So this is the view that I've been doing each month. And all I'm doing really is using an A2 sheet of paper that I'll show you in a minute. And I'm making marks and using different colors that reflect uh, the month and the season and hopefully by the end of the year i'll have a really interesting set of uh, booklets that i'm creating and uh, also some written words that kind of reflect um, what it's like at this point in time so hopefully uh, you can see uh, the heather moors behind and i'm going to turn around now and get going i just thought i would give you that little glimpse of the moors uh, before i do okay Okay, as promised, here is the A2 sheet of cartridge paper, which is 220 gram. It's a nice thick cartridge paper. And I've just uh, clipped it onto a board. And I've got uh, pretty much usual types of materials, but this time I've got some lovely inks. And these are Liquitex inks. And one is a muted violet, and the other is a muted uh, green and uh, I've, I've got you know a, a range of mark making uh, tools I've got brushes I've got a dip pen I've got um, a card that I'm using instead of having um, a palette knife I've got spray water and and a, a mix of the usual things and some pastels as well um, so I'll get going and uh, you'll see how I go
So I thought I'd finish by sharing with you, as usual, the uh, booklet that I've created. And this is the August one on the left here, which I'm going to go through in a minute. But I just wanted to make reference to the writing again. And although I'm not going to go through it in detail, and obviously the whole of the double page isn't on, on the screen for you to see. But I just wanted to make reference to it, really, saying that I'm really quite glad that I've done this alongside the mark making, because I think it just adds something. And obviously I was talking last time about the fact that I was going to present them side by side. Uh, in a forthcoming exhibition and I'm just glad really because I do do think that there's a kind of a uh, a kind of a combination that works really well between the writing and obviously the visuals so I'm just going to read a little bit here the colors I've put are still rich but there's a feeling of change in the air the autumn smell is all but here the greens are deep and dark and olive and the most notable feature of the landscape is the wonderful inky dusty purple of the heather it saturates, it either saturates the whole area or it's a patchy, blotchy, powdery covering. So anyway, I'm not going to kind of continue there, but suffice to say that the heather is obviously a predominant feature this month. And now I'm going to just shut this book so that I can actually share with you the actual uh, finished booklet. And hopefully that heather uh, will come to the fore. So uh, I, I couldn't decide on this one. This is an interesting book because... Um, I couldn't decide on the right orientation because some of them work, pages work well one way up and some the other. So that's just the nature of things, really. So anyway, so here we can already see the, you know, the, the reference to the heather. I was using that wonderful purple and the blue and some rather dramatic uh, lines here. Um, this really shows uh, how the heather does really sweep across the landscape. And I kind of like these uh, verticals that go in contrast with the horizontals, which is quite interesting, just by chance. Um, and you can see the variety of marks here with a variety of different um, tools and different materials, actually. So I've got here, I've got the purple ink. Um, I've got uh, the stone, which is the, the pastel, uh, which is that uh, lovely yellow ochre colour. I've used paint, I've used charcoal and I've used pencil. So, you know, a whole range of things, really. And then it gets uh, even more lining, quite interesting. I'm quite liking these dark uh, greens that I was referencing and the olive greens that I was referencing in the text. And then here's that kind of combo, really, of the purple against the, uh, the greens. I kind of like it when I get a variety of marks. So this is kind of quite inky, splodgy with the much finer lines and then finer up here. And then this is just sort of something sort of quite, quite strong. This is where it gets questionable as to which way up it is, but I kind of quite like bringing changes and having it in not such a, a kind of a ordinary uh, orientation, really. So I kind of like it that way up, even though you could argue that's the wrong way up. But that's always the way with these folded booklets. That's the kind of the joy of it, really, and the, the point of trying to abstract it a little bit so that you don't have everything in an organised way. And then this one here is quite interesting because you've got, again, you've got the ink. You've got this kind of blue, which almost looks like, you know, is it sea, is it sky? <laughs> so anyway, so I think that's that's the whole booklet for, for this month. And uh, I was just thinking about what my favourite one was. And I kind of think I like to come back to this one. I quite like the sweepingness of that and I quite like the combination of materials. Anyway, you might have a different uh, different page that you prefer. Anyway, thank you very much for watching again and please do like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.